Well, it is time to hear from teenagers in Harrisburg. A town hall style event starts in 30 minutes at Camp Curtin Academy. Young people are in charge of the discussion, hoping to get through to one another about critical issues like crime and gang affiliation. Mark Hall joins us live with a preview now. Mark. <sighs> Well, Alicia, organizers say that the overwhelming majority of teenagers in Harrisburg are tired of the violence, and tonight their voices will be heard, and they hope a plan of action follows. Three teenagers were hurt this past weekend in separate shootings across Harrisburg. All will survive, but why does this keep happening? Some answers are expected at Wednesday's Teen Summit at Camp Curtin Academy. Harrisburg City Council member Jocelyn Rawls helped organize the event, but that's where her control begins and ends. She says young people will run the show, and that's by design. And I'm, I love the town halls we've been having, but I kept seeing adults talking and talking about kids and talking to kids, but not talking with kids. So I was like, I want to hear what they have to say. Rawls is optimistic the summit will be time well spent and that teens will talk frankly to each other about the factors that contribute to the violence that affects them. Maybe if we ask them why they think this is happening and what solutions we could have, we gotta involve them. The fraternity Omega Psi Phi is the event sponsor, and some members can identify with the challenges. I know the struggles, I know the temptation, I know what it's like to go through these things. Dominique Commodore is a Harrisburg High graduate and now a teacher in the district. He will be an observer during the teen summit and will continue to lead by example. Trust the process and give it your all and focus on what's right here. You can make it out and you can be successful as well. And the Teen Summit begins at 6 here at the Camp Curtin Academy and it ends at 7.30. In Harrisburg, Mark Hall, ABC 27 News. Now, wait a minute, Mark. Before we let you go, we want to let you know that all of us at ABC 27 are going to miss you so much. You know this already. Mark is going to our sister station in Washington, D.C. after 13 years at ABC 27. And this is his last day out on the streets reporting for us. So, Mark, congratulations on your new career. We are going to miss you and we are going to visit. Dinner's on you. You know, Valerie, <laughs> Valerie I knew you and Alicia wouldn't let me just slide out. Uh, but I got to tell you that uh, 13 amazing years. I know you both remember I first came to ABC 27 and I ran studio camera. And I want to tell you both something I never told you before. I set a goal that I one day I was going to anchor with both of you. And one day I was given the opportunity because I earned it. And now I'm able to check both of those boxes. So that's pretty cool going forward. <laughs> Mark, you are a true joy to work with and a true gentleman. You're a goat, Mark. We love you.